How can you get more engagement on your website? Just because somebody visits your website, that doesn't mean that they fell in love with your business. So how can you get more engagement to interact with them? Today I'm gonna to give you a few tips to increase the engagement for your local business on your website so you can get more people to want to come to your business to see what it's all about. TransactionExpert.com is the leader in transaction services. We build your online presence and point of sale system to integrate with each other. If you are ready to understand and control the entire customer experience, visit TransactionExpert.com. So let's talk about how we can get all these people that are now visiting your website because you've got these email subscribers, you've got this great online presence and you're publishing new content, you've got calls to action. So how do we get these people on your website to actually engage with your company and become really interested? Well, I first of all want to start with an idea that I've described to hundreds of businesses and every time I describe this process to businesses, uh, small business owners in particular, they're just blown away by this idea and how simple it is, okay? You should mirror whatever you do to engage with your customers in your store. You should try your best to mirror that online through your social media channels and your website. Let me give you an example. I have people ask me all the time, they say, you know, James, what am I supposed to do with a Twitter direct message? Okay, somebody sends me a direct message on Twitter, what am I supposed to do with it? And I say, well, what do you do if somebody calls you? Well, this particular employee answers the phone and talks to them. I say, there you go. If somebody sends you a direct message on Twitter, have that employee get an email alert that somebody sent a direct message and have him reply to the direct message. It's that simple. They're, okay, well, what do I do if somebody mentions me on Twitter as an at mention and they say, I just ate at you know, Billy's uh, you know, seafood store and I loved it. Okay, and I say, okay. I say, well, what do you do if somebody gives you a referral now? What do you do if somebody uh, refers your store? And you say, well, we just congratulate them and say thank you. There you go. Go on Twitter, reply, thanks so much for the recommendation. Or you say, well, we give them a 10% off referral coupon. Go on Twitter, hit reply, and say, here's a link to your 10% off coupon. Thank you for the reference. So whatever you do in your store, just do it online, okay? So that's number one. Number one is mirror whatever you do in your store online. It'll take a little creativity, but if you think through these processes, um, you can easily come up with simple processes. Get your employees involved. Don't kid yourself. Your employees know how to use Facebook and Twitter, right? They're using it on company time, right? And you're trying to get them to stop doing that? How about you say, when you're at our company, you can be logged on to Facebook and Twitter all you want, but the catch is you can only be logged on to our company profile, not your personal profile. Get them to interact with customers. They have downtime, great. Have them go on Twitter and find somebody interested in your product and service and send them a tweet. Um, so get them involved. They know how to use Twitter. They know how to use Facebook. Get them involved and mirror whatever you're doing in your business online. Now let's talk about a few other ways to engage people. Uh, one of the most common ways to engage people on a website is through comments, uh, through comments. And so when you write a new post or you have a new uh, article of some kind, always do your best to end that article with a question and encourage people to post comments, okay? So, you know, you just wrote an article about a craft and at the bottom you might put, please post, you know, if you make this craft, please post pictures of you with your loved ones after, you know, with this craft and let us know how you like the project, okay? Um, if you have, you know, a company, you just posted something about, a uh, tip about car maintenance, you know, you might say at the bottom, uh, do you have any questions for us about if it's time to do whatever, to change your, the filter, uh, you know, or whatever it is, um, please post a comment below. We'd love to answer your questions. So you can use the comments that are naturally on, like the websites we provide always have commenting functionalities at the bottom. You can use that to engage. It's a great way to engage with your customers, to ask them to comment back to you. Uh, let me give you one more, uh, I might give you two more, but I'll give you one more for sure right now, and that is this. Uh, doing a live chat, a live chat. This can be really, really, really powerful. Uh, we're actually working on some technology right now where you'll be able to actually get this on your point of sale system. But currently, it's still really, really easy. You can set it up to do through text messaging. But do you ever see on a website where it's got that little live chat button? Let me explain how that works because a lot of small business owners feel like, oh, I, I couldn't do that because then I gotta cover it all the time. Again, mirror what you do in your store with what you do online. I have people all the time that tell me, well, James, you know, I can't do a live chat because I don't have people available 24 seven. And I say, okay, what do you do if somebody wants to come to your store at midnight? And they say, well, we're not open at midnight, so they have to come back the next day. And we have a little sign up. There you go. So if you have a live chat on your website, have operating hours. 
You have live chat available from nine in the morning until eight in the evening. If they click on it after that, it says, sorry, we're out of the store. Swing by tomorrow or open up the live chat. We'll be available at 9 a.m. So you can mirror what you do in the store online, but having a live chat is awesome. I'm telling you, it will actually save you a lot of time too. It's a lot more convenient than having somebody on the phone and then they're holding. If you have live chat, people will chat you and they'll, they'll say stuff like, hey, my son and I were gonna stop by your hobby store today. I was wondering if you have any of this particular model train uh, you know, uh, available right now. Great, okay, then your employees can have that just pop up on either, again, the, the manager on duty, you can have it where it texts him, and he can just literally text back and while he's texting back, it's actually interacting with this person on your website on a live chat. So live chat is really cool, uh, very inexpensive, practically free actually. Um, it doesn't cost hardly any money at all and it's something that you can do. You can just have a live chat going on your website and that's a great, great way to engage with your customers. Uh, the last one I am gonna give you one more um, and that is engage with people through Facebook and through Twitter. Um, and again, we talked about it a little bit earlier but engage with people through Facebook through commenting, okay? When you see that somebody has, for instance, liked a picture, uh, you can have one of your employees comment to them and say, you know, like on a picture on Facebook at the bottom, it'll say seven people have liked this. You can click on that and it'll tell you which seven people. You can just tag them in a comment and say, hey Joe, I noticed you like this picture, you know, thanks. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about it, okay? So the idea is you can send them kind of a notification through Facebook and engage with them and see if they have any questions. Uh, on Twitter, Twitter, one of the most powerful things about Twitter that I don't know hardly any small business owners that use this, um, but actually it is the search functionality. Uh, there's advanced Twitter search and we can help you with this if you're part of our web program. Uh, there's advanced Twitter search where you can actually go in and search for people in your area that are using specific words in their search terms. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you have an oil chain shop. You can have one of your employees that's mainly at the front counter, have a laptop pulled up, have Twitter search pulled up, and in the search, what you're searching for is people within, let's say, 15 miles or 10 miles of your zip code who are currently using the word oil change in a tweet. So I'll give you an example. All of a sudden pops up on his screen, well, today I gotta head to, you know, I gotta head out and get an oil change today. I'm heading over to whatever, and they name one of your competitors. Well, Twitter, you don't have to be, somebody doesn't have to be following you in order for you to tweet to them. You can tweet to anybody that's on Twitter, okay? So what you do is, your, your employee just replies and says, you know, hey Bill, I don't know if you've been to our shop before, here's where we are, click this link for a 10% off of your first oil change with us. And so it's an easy, easy way to market and to get new people just looking at what are people in your area talking about on Twitter, do an advanced Twitter search in your area and it'll just pop up literally in real time on the screen and you can have an employee there and they're just keeping an eye on it and just responding. They can set up an app on their phone and do this and you know and just respond to them, again, logged in as your company profile. So there's some ideas of how to engage with people online. Hopefully those tips were beneficial to you for your local business. If you have any other questions or you wanna learn more about how we can help you accomplish these things, go to transactionexpert.com web.